My brother and I have basically done everything together. We've been best friends and we've never had any problems sharing. So instead of having one car individually, we had two cars collectively and we made one of them badass. A lot of people thought that it would have created tension or conflict between us, but I think it's only exemplified how strong our relationship is. The car is a 1972 Corvette. We were looking at a couple different classic cars, and the C3 was the one that we both agreed that we really liked. It just has these lines to it that are sharper than I think you're gonna find on any other car. It just looks so iconic. You can just appreciate a car that's 47 years old. One of the things that was really fun about getting a classic car was that I don't think JJ and I knew anything about cars when we first got one. It's really incited the process of wanting to learn more about cars and engines. Being a first-generation citizen with parents who are European, you don't necessarily always feel the same tie to your home country that someone who has deeper roots. So I think part of the beauty of getting an American car with being a multicultural and a global citizen is the fact that it really brings us back to the home that we grew up in. I'm living abroad now, but when we do get to go out, it's pretty awesome. Most of it's actually reminiscent of the first road trip we took together. During the road trip, all we ever did was bond further and faster, regardless of the snowstorms, the hail, the rain coming through the windshield. All we ever did was bunker down together and keep on persevering. It's a really nice representation of the bond that I have with my brother. We realized that she's a driver and she wants to be driven. You know, it has its own little issues. The pop-up headlights, are permanently popped up, little quirks like that. But at the end of the day, this will absolutely forever and always be a driver. I love every time I hit that accelerator. I love the power band and just being able to really feel that acceleration when you hit it. It's not that it accelerates faster than anything else I've driven. It's just the way it does it is a whole lot more fun. One of my favorite things about owning a classic car is that anytime you stop at a gas station and you're filling up, everybody wants to come talk to you. And it just gives you an additional bonding experience that I think most people don't get. The car has more rattles than a baby can play with. She drinks gas for a living. She shakes when you take her above 80 miles per hour. And yet, I've never been more in love with an inanimate object. I'm Pierre Peterson. I'm JJ Peterson. And, and this, this is, is why I drive. drive.